Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to put this vestibule on this Bragg Up 5 hot tent. And then I'll also give you some tips and tricks on how to set up your stove correctly so that way the pipe comes through right. Stick around, let's get into it. Alright guys, so uh, first I want to mention that you do get this vestibule set up uh, in your hot tent. I didn't know it came with it. I thought it was an extra. They do sell a bigger vestibule that actually goes out real big. You can even put a whole other stove set up in it. And that costs extra, but this smaller one actually just goes with the tent, which is pretty nice. A little extra that I was not expecting to get and something I plan on using. The problem is, no instructions on how to set it up. There's really no content out there on how to set it up because it is a newer... Uh, this tent's got enough people who have it, but they've upgraded certain things about the stove and the tent that other, other people don't have out on YouTube yet. Alright, the first thing I wanted to show you guys is this actually attaches only on one door. So this door over here has this zipper. And it, it's the door that's closest to the stove. The first step is actually trying to find how all these zippers to go, go together. So you got the door. If you, look, if you look for this symbol, that's where the door is. You want to go to the opposite side where the zipper is. And you actually want to line that up. You want to line that up with this zipper right here. Once you got this all set up, next thing you want to do is locate this uh, in your bag. It's got your bars in there. So this zipper was actually zipped when I opened it up. So I, I did not realize that this was for this function. I actually thought it was for the vestibule cover and it was just comes in two different pieces or something. But what you got to do is unzip this. And it's got this little pocket right here. What you do is you take the end of your rod here and you just feed that right in there. Creates a little pocket. You got it in that little pocket. You don't want to start zipping it up yet. What you want to do is start building out this little bracket here. And make sure that this is pointed on the outside. You don't want this part on the outside. You want this part so you can see your joints and that allows you to bend because this needs to bend to make this work. And what you do is you, you just keep folding that out and then you're going to find on this other section over here that same spot. And once you feed it in there You should be good. And then you just start zipping up. And you work this all the way around just like this. There we go. And you don't want to try to zip it up without supporting it a little bit, otherwise it, it'll ruin it. So just be careful when you do that. But once you get to this point, pretty easy. Alright, so now after you've got that bar in there, you should have a setup where it looks like this. Wide open. And what you want to do is pull this out. And in here, you've got this strap. So this strap is attached to one side. 
And what you're going to do is take this strap, unravel it, and you're going to feed it through these little loops. You're going to do the same thing on this side. Pull this out. Feed this through. And then on this side, you've got a buckle right there. Should be, hopefully you guys can see that. And you take that and you just buckle this in. And you pull it tight. So now, put it back up. So now you've got your doors open and you've got some pressure holding these bars in this semicircle area. Now there's one thing left that you got to do to make it so this part doesn't just flop. To do that, inside your bag you should have these. All right. What you're going to do is you're going to put these together. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to put these together. And then you're going to come inside here. All right. So what you want to do is on these corners, you're going to go like this. Feed this in there. And then on this side, you kind of got to bend it just a little bit and stuff it in there. Same thing for this other side. Put that in on that side. And then again, you're going to have to bend it a little bit. but it'll go on this side. I like to roll these so this is out. That way this doesn't jab into the siding here. All right, then you have your door here. I just put my bug net up out of the way. But this actually has uh, two zippers on each side. So you can actually zip this down and you can use just one side, or you can use both sides, however you want to do it. But it's nice because it's a flap, and it actually hangs down. So then all that's left to do after you get this all set up like this is you actually have all these tie-outs that you can choose how you want to do it. Stake these down. You can tie this out on the side. You've got a tie-out up here, and you've got your tie-out over here on this side. All right, guys, just want to give you an idea how big this is, uh, some uses for it. Um, this chair is a regular size chair, just like one you would have in your backyard. Full size chair fits in here. Backpacking chair would fit absolutely great. You can definitely fit two people, one on each side if you wanted. And uh, what it's, what's great about it is you can actually take your boots off in here, take your boots off and then go in there so you don't get all of that mud, snow, whatever debris all in your tent. Um, the other nice thing about it is you can actually stack your wood in here side by side and you can fill this up as much or as little as you want and hopefully that'll give you a little bit more more area inside your tent to utilize as well. Alright so that's the vestibule guys. I do want to show you guys one other thing, uh, well two other things actually that has to do with the stove and the jack. So uh, give me a second I'll show you, the, you guys that too. Uh, obviously, you know from my other videos, I was a little bit concerned with how the outside and inside of these rings match up. They're off a little bit. And uh, I found out that that is normal. Um, I'm not sure exactly why it's not set up perfect, but it is the way it is. And what you can do, though, to adjust it a little bit is right down here underneath the skirt, you lift this up and you actually have this little ring right here where you can tighten 
or loosen that. I have it loosened quite substantially more than you can tell that's where it was at before. I loosened that up, which allowed this section to have a little bit more play in it. And it did, it did make the stovepipe come out a, a lot straighter. And you do that to, you do that to both sides down here. And it makes it so that way that'll fit a lot better. So now you can tell I have that pretty much lined up pretty good. A lot better than what it was out of the factory. And that little adjustment makes it so much easier. I don't have to fight it. It goes right in there nice and smooth and easy, which allows it to lock in. It's got that little play. It's not, it's not working as hard to cr push this thing and cram it to get it to line up correctly. Now it's one-handed and there's not as much pressure on the actual pipe itself. So that's how you fix that problem and uh, hopefully that's useful to somebody else. Okay, the last thing I wanted to show you guys real quick was this stove actually has this pan. But because it's so shallow right here, when you're scooping out your uh, hot coals, if you scoop them out at the end of your adventure you got to scoop everything out otherwise this will run for you know hours and hours and hours without even having wood in there so you scoop them out you put them on here well if you even have one or a couple of them that are real hot that fall off you've got this on the ground and you would think that this would protect it but actually I had uh, a couple really hot coals stumble off of there and unfortunately that happened so now now I've got a little hole in my tent but it's not the end of the world because the floor is replaceable it does have a a zipper right here and I can zip it all the way off and replace it if I want uh, I'm just gonna leave it it's not that big of a deal to me especially with the second floor that I got that goes underneath it anyway but wanted to show you guys that uh, just be careful. I personally had already thought of that a little bit and had bought this other one. And I don't know why, I just, I never used it for what I bought it for. I ended up just putting it out in front of it almost like a floor mat. And I wish I had set this on underneath it and it wouldn't have been a problem. All right, guys, well, that's the video. Hopefully it was helpful to somebody. Please, if it was uh, if it was worthwhile watching for you guys and you enjoyed it, just let me know by giving me a thumbs up. And then uh, if you really liked it, give me a subscription. I appreciate uh, you guys watching it. Thanks again. I'll catch you outside.